Okay, so you have some guys here in SMSSA going around saying, Josway, please teach us milkshake 3D because there are no tutorials. If it is the most hardest thing in the world where you need a tutorial for. And you have Shay going around saying it's probably easy to use Blender while... Not and this is a really difficult program. Uh, it's probably one of the most easiest pro 3D programs I've ever used. Because, like, making an ammo for it is, 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 is easy like shit. What you basically do is you just go choose your background image. So I'm 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 gonna do you know what? Don't hold head for this time because it's nice and one, so I don't have to, you know, use a load of things like this. So I'm just gonna use this one. And it shows up. So what we're going to do next is we're going to scroll in so it's the right size. Yeah. What we're going to do then is we're going to grab vertex. We're going to put one there, 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 there. I'm doing this fast, by the way, because I don't give a shit in the moment. There, 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 there. There, 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 and then you got this, and then we're gonna put faces like there, 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 it's mind-blowingly hard. Fuck. It's so mind-blowingly hard. A 12-year-old can't do this. I keep misclicking because I am a 12-year-old. Not really, but... You get the point. I, can't, I just can't bloody... Aim properly. Oh, come on. Pixel face, whatever. And then we basically got that. But how are we going to move it 3D? Well, what we do, we select everything. Which is really, really, really hard to do, you know. It's so hard. So hard. So hard. Well, even Sutton can do this. Like, like I, I asked Sutton if he could do this. No, he couldn't because it's so high, you know. It's, it's like it's like the holy... It's like obtaining the holy grail. It's so high. Well, here we got him in 3D, and here we got him in 3D. You can't see it in the back here because that's when you put the thing the other way around. We can all show it in a sec. Like, for example, here, if I do it the normal... I don't want vertex. Come on, I don't want vertex. Screw your, screw your vertex. I want to do a face. Okay? Like for example, if I do a face here, like, it's just normally up because it's clear. Because I did everything always to the left. If I do it the other way around, to the right, it becomes black here and it doesn't show up here. Why? Because it's the other side. So, yeah, that's quite easy, but let's let's finish this, shall we? You could probably make this way more advanced node skin. You could you probably make a gigantic flying purple penis if you wanted. If that's what you fancy. I don't know what you fancy. I'm just saying you could. But basically, you just, you know, put everything together like that. What we do then is, well, of course, we want both sides because people here want twist or whatever, turn or whatever it's called, I forgot. And there's a bloody mosquito on my bloody face. Screw you, mosquito. And then we just go edit, duplicate selection, vertex, mirror. No, not mirror, right? We want to duplicate. Why did I want to, why did I want to duplicate that? On the entire bloody thing, okay? Duplicate selection and then... Mirror back. See now, now we got a nice three D one. What we're gonna do next is, oh yeah, we first need to combine them. See, regroup, and we're gonna call it Arrow. Rename. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna make a new one, which is Material Zero One. Ooh. 
we could go to my step mania folder no I got the step mania let's see step mania 3.9 note skins dance Sipe hate it's gonna hate let's see the field down the hole I'm gonna excite excite and now the arrow is invisible it's only because the texture isn't fine. Then we're gonna texture control uh, to blah blah. Then we're gonna go uh, let's see remap. And it fits and we yeah. You get this, yeah. Which is not good. But you can fix that really easily. How you get the texture code editor? You're gonna make it bigger. So here you can see it more easily. Then we're gonna do Eight times as big, so we can nicely see. And if you see here, we got some arrows that go a bit off, you know what, the screen. So we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it's in the dark gray, or just touching the dark gray. Do it, uh, you know, all sides like that. And here you can see the result. And if you do it on every side, you basically got a 3D arrow. And then you go to export milkshake 3D uh, as you know what. And the uh, dipshit, let's call it dipshit, yeah. And we're basically done.